to Yolanda. Welcome to the wave. Who's up for a game of brain drain? The rules to this one are very simple. You use every single part of your brain to get your team to guess the answers to the questions. You're my team, so you get to guess the answers. That's your responsibility. Responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. Okay, the first question is knowledge-based, so you're gonna need to use this part of your brain. So, you use that part for intense thinking. Okay, are you ready? What is four plus four plus eight plus 16? Are you ready? Did you get the answer? D did you get the answer? Did you? Did you? Well, I'm gonna say that you did. Okay, well, the answer is 32. Okay, next question. So this is an artistic question. And you're gonna use, I think this part of your brain? That's the creative part. So what we get to do with this one is look at this. We get to use some Play-Doh and our drawing pad. Okay, I'll be right back. So using this clay and drawing pad, your team has to guess the following phrase. All right, we can do this. Okay, let's go. Are you ready? Do you see that? 10 cents and my carton of eggs. Okay, did you get it? It's a dime a dozen, a dime a dozen, a dime a dozen. Well, that's a phrase that means that something is so common, you can pretty much find it anywhere. It's a dime a dozen. All right. Are you ready to do another one? This one's a performance one. I like this one. It uses that part of your brain that gives you courage, right here, to act on stage or to sing. La, la, la. Okay, here it goes. Get your team. That's you guys. Okay, guess the following animal. Huh, yeah. I'm not gonna do that. I'll just look silly. Well, right now, let's get on our feet because it's time to sing to God. I'm not gonna act like an animal, so stop wondering. You never turn away, you never leave my side. And every time I call your name out just to find that you're already right here with me never been alone i can trust you with my heart cause this i know you are always faithful you love me from the start no matter what i'm facing i will trust you with my heart you are more than able to lead me through the dark your love is never failing i will trust you with trust you with my heart there are days when i feel i need a friend and then i hear your voice reminding me again that you're already right here with me never been alone i can trust you with my heart because this i know you are always faithful you love me from the start Trust you with my heart. You are more than able to lead me through the dark. Your love is never failing. I will trust you with my heart. Whoa, whoa, I will trust you with my heart. No matter what may come, no matter what I go through, God, you are never gonna fail me. I will 
trust you with my heart No matter what may come, no matter what I go through, God, you are Never gonna fail me, I will trust you with my heart you with my heart in today's story we'll learn about a boss who put three servants in charge of bags of gold will the servants do something with what they're given or waste their opportunity let's watch and see the Bible it's 66 books of history stories letters and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 14 through 30. When Jesus wanted to share truth with the people that followed him, he often would tell a parable, a story. Here is what the kingdom of heaven will be like. These parables used everyday situations to help people think and understand God's truth for themselves. One day in Jerusalem, Jesus wanted to share a story with his followers. If he told that same story today, it might sound something like this. There once was a man who created the world's most amazing energy bar. Just one bite and I feel like I could leap tall buildings in a single bound. What is even in these? If I told you, I'd have to leave you stranded on top of Mount Everest. The man did such a good job of selling the energy bars, he soon became wealthy. Then one day, he got on a Zoom call with three of his top employees. Zane, Ren, Murray. Yes, sir. Right here. Murray. Says he's here. I don't hear him. Start your audio, Murray. Oh, hey, just, you know, I was finishing the movie. I've called you together for an important purpose. I'm going offline. You're what? <laughs> Completely screen free. I'm going to travel the world for a while. Hike Everest, cross the Sahara, dive down to the Mariana Trench, miles beneath the ocean, all fueled by my energy bar, of course. Oh, dude, that is far out. Literally. The rich man had carefully studied his employees and knew what they can handle. While I'm gone, I'm leaving you in charge of my money. Zane, I'm sending you an encrypted key to access my gold account with 5,000 credits. Oh, excellent. Ren, here's an encrypted key to access my silver account with 2,000 credits. I'm on it. Murray. Check your inbox for an encrypted key to my bronze account with 1,000 credits. That's it. That's it. I'm going off the grid. Immediately, Zane accessed the money from the gold account and put that money to work. He hired scientists and designers to create a suction shoe that would keep a rock climber from falling. I call it the fly shoe. The fly shoe sold as nearly as fast as the energy bar. Zane soon made his money back and more. Ren. Meanwhile, made excellent use of the money in the silver account. What does every adventurer need besides fuel and shoes? A friend. So Ren invented a robotic hamster that could travel anywhere an explorer can go, from the highest of mountains to the deepest ocean trench. Soon, robotic adventure hamsters sold as fast as toilet papers. So that left only Murray, who sat looking at the bronze account on his computer screen. Only 1,000. It's like he expects me to mess it up. Well, I'll show him, ha! Huh. So Murray took the money out in coins and stashed them in a giant bag. Then late one night, dug a hole in his backyard, stashed the bag inside, and covered it right back up. Great, now all I have to do is go back inside and watch Netflix. After a very long time, the rich man returned from the wilds. 
Ah, electricity, internet. I have returned to the grid. Please accept my meeting invite. Zane and Ren hopped on the call immediately. Mary took a little longer. Start, Start your audio, Mary. Oh yeah, there it is. I'm excited to see how you've handled my money, Zane. Through sales of the fly shoe, I've added 5,000 more credits to your gold account. Well done, good and faithful employee. You've been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share my happiness. Now, Ren. My adorable traveling robotic hamsters have earned 2,000 more credits for your silver account. Well done, good and faithful employee. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share my happiness. <laughs> so, uh, Murray. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, hold on. Murray reached down and held up a muddy sack. He spilled the coins across the desk. How? Oh much is that? 1,000 credits. That's what I gave you. Yeah. Yeah, well, I knew you're a tough businessman. You, you make money even where you haven't worked for it. I didn't want you getting mad, so I just buried the money. See? It's all safe. Mary offered a weak smile, but instead of smiling back, the rich man went red in the face. You lazy man. If you knew I can make money even when I haven't worked for it, you should have at least kept my money in the bank where it would have earned a little bit. Uh, sure. The rich man turned to his personal assistant and ordered. Take Murray's credits and give them to Zane, who already has 10,000 credits. Oh, and take Murray off my payroll immediately. The message of Jesus' story was clear. If you are responsible for what you were given, You'll be given more. If you wasted it, you end up with nothing. When Jesus told a story about the boss and the three servants, I think it was really a story about you and me. God is like the boss in the story, and we're the ones that he entrusted with bags of gold. Okay, so maybe God didn't actually give you a bunch of gold, but you definitely have been given something. Each and every one of us has been uniquely created. We've been given unique talents and abilities. We use different parts of our brain. We are definitely no dime a dozen. So it's up to us to actually use what God has trusted us with. We can't just bury it in the ground and let it go to waste. And I think it's even better to use what we have been given to make a difference in the world to love God and to love other people. So, if you've got a talent for singing, then sing it out loud and strong. And if you're good at intense thinking, then think about how you can make the world a better place. And if you happen to have a talent for acting like a wild animal, then let it out of its cage every once in a while, even if it makes you look silly. Get it? Did you get it? All right. Was it a, does it sound like a zebra? Ha, <laughs> not a zebra. It was an elephant. Well, let me try that again. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what part of the brain that was. I don't know. Anyways, let's pray and ask God to help us make the most of what he's given us. Dear God, thank you for this story Jesus told. It helps us to remember to make the most of every gift and opportunity you've given us. Please give us the courage to use the things in our lives to help others instead of being lazy or afraid. Help us make the most of what we've been given. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends, see you next time. Here's everything we've got going on at Twin Lakes Kids. Check it out. Send us your best jokes to be featured on Silly Saturday. Go to tlc.org slash kids to submit. Find us on Facebook and Instagram where we post new things every day. Devos, worship songs, this or that Thursday, and Silly Saturday. Check it out at Twin Lakes Kids. Do you have a prayer request? We are praying for our Twin Lakes Kids families. If 
there are any specific prayer requests you have, head to tlc.org kids to send us yours.